how lucky are we to be alive during this time where such valuable resources are just available at the tip of our fingers. You might have faced some situations where you were made to feel less than. You never think about your loved ones like that, right? And that is because you have you have pure love and you have respect for them. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Sanjana and I upload videos related to planners, stickers, stationery products with a hint of a personal development. So if that sounds interesting to you, then do subscribe to my channel. Also give my videos a thumbs up as well as comment down below if you've been enjoying like watching them. All of these three things help my channel a lot and it helps reach more people. Okay, let's get to today's video. I wanted to take some time to sit down with you guys and uh, just reflect on my intentions, check in to see how it's been going. You know, do I need to change anything? Uh, how do I like, basically move forward in a more mindful and intentional way? I absolutely love watching other people's videos where they're talking about their goals or their intentions and also sharing the challenges that they're facing or uh, the progress that they're making. It just, I think it helps in my journey a lot when I just hear to other people. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. So yeah, let's get started. I've been uploading these planner videos since the end of 2020 so it's been about more than two years now and usually with my videos what i do is i create a lot of setup videos but then i don't do these kind of check-ins and reflections with you guys here i just find that to be extremely personal but this year i decided that i wanna i wanna share more of my processes with you so that uh, my videos are not only helpful while setting your goals or setting your planners at the beginning of the year or the beginning of the month or the week, but you also get to see like what happens after. And that's why I wanted to do this. And in case you missed yesterday's video, do check it out because I have um, I've like checked in about my goals and in this video I'm just going to be doing about intention so do not miss that you can check it out and for supplies I'm going to be using the same supplies that I used in the previous setup which is recollections floral sticker book santorini designer boxes and then colorful labels okay now let's get started uh I I think I'm gonna, this book by the way, it's got like really beautiful florals throughout, but for all of these reflections, I want to sort of go with this similar theme of these flowers. And there are a lot of stickers. Yesterday I used these three pages and today I wanna bring in more. Um, I'm not really sure if I wanna bring in this. I think I wanna get in more washi tapes. Yep, washi and then uh, these kind of uh, box stickers. I actually wanted to do all of these things in one spread, but uh, the video is gonna get too long and I'll not have enough space to add all the details I wanted to. So that's the reason I'm creating separate spreads. And here we go, let me put a header and write intentions. I have my header here and uh, I want to go through these intentions one by one and I think I want to create sort of a tabular kind of a spread. I'm not sure if I'm going to be adding lines. Let's look at that later but I want to go one below the other uh, instead of taking up a lot of space because on this side I do want to do a check-in for my word of the year. That'll be probably that'll be the next video where I talk about how I'll talk about how I've been using this word, uh, what I've what like changes have I experienced and how do I want to use it going forward. So I'll do that in this side. Uh, let's stick to the left side of the page for this. Okay, my uh, intentions basically what I did was I chose a few words like let's not look at what's in the in these stickers, but what's outside. Like what do I want to create in my life? What do I want to emphasize on? What do I want to embrace, choose and feel? And what do I want to explore? These kind of things. So my first intention was to create joy 
and I wanted to do this because I just wanted to feel a little bit lighthearted. I didn't want to take a lot of things too seriously. I am that person who generally like you know who takes things too seriously basically i just wanted to have a little bit of more fun in my in my life i wanted to be a little bit more humorous and i feel i felt that joy would be a good place to start to go down that path and what i want to do here is basically like uh, allocate stars like sort of give myself a rating to see how far i have come in this and um i'll i'll rate like out of five stars so i think for creating joy i want to give myself four stars because um one i see myself trying quite a bit uh, let me just put these stars four stars yeah i see myself trying a lot being really mindful about not taking things too seriously doing things um in my life that brings me a lot of joy and not just what other people think joy is in the past i've struggled with this quite a bit you know uh usually in our society how people see is when you hang out more a lot uh, when you're outside a lot basically when you lead that ideal extroverted lifestyle that means you're having a lot of fun and i kept trying to do that but i am an introvert i i do enjoy hanging out with friends i do enjoy going out and you know all of those things i do enjoy i'm not saying i don't but if i do more of it it just like it's it's not good i don't feel my best so one thing that i noticed in 2023 was i did more uh, i included more activities that brought me joy personally whether it was um you know just sitting and staring at the horizon on the lake or um whether it was watching like a show or many other stuff uh, like activities basically or like trying to learn how to make a pizza from scratch like it was so fun so i I saw myself putting a lot of effort into this and that's why I wanted to give four stars and I discovered so many nice activities that I love doing um, than just going out and hanging out with people. So that's why I've given myself four stars and the reason why I didn't give five stars is because I still feel a bit stuck up. I'm still conscious about what other people think. Uh, for example, if, you know, like I don't know, probably like laughing out loud without worrying about what other people think that that's still there i feel it's a challenge for me so i think that is one of the reasons why i don't want to give five stars and that is something that i want to work towards and one of the ways that i think i can do that is by just letting go and surrendering to to life to that present moment i don't know if i'm explaining this correctly but let's say this there's some nice like fun situation in your day and just be there just be present in the moment not really worry about anything else whether it is like what other people might think or whether what's on my to-do list or anything at all basically just live in the moment and i think i can do that by um uh, surrendering to yeah to the present moment I'm going to write here as surrender. Uh, that's just the word I feel. I don't know, is the spelling correct? That's okay, never mind. So yeah, that's what I want to do. And I hope you get the pattern that I'm going with. So what I do is write my intention, uh, rate myself to see how I've been doing with it and find out like, okay, what can I do in order to improve or in order to reach the five stars? So that's my first intention. And the second intention is to emphasize self-worth. Set this intention because I wanted to be a little bit more conscious. I do struggle with imposter syndrome. I do struggle. I feel like in traditional terms, uh, I am a pretty confident person. I 
you know whether it was speaking on stage or talking in front of a group of people or uh being able to talk what's in my mind uh without any hesitation i am pretty good at that good at that i don't struggle with that where i see um where i see and i don't want to call it an issue but what i want to focus on is believing in myself and again believing in myself in a lot of other things like these traditional things right doing well in school or college making sure you're doing good at your job all of these kind of things where you are trained for in your life i feel i'm good at that there are so many other things uh, that i see where an underlying issue is um i don't believe in myself and i really need to i really wanted to work on that and recently i was having a conversation uh with a person in my life who i look up to and when i was talking to her she pointed out that like whatever like however i'm feeling there might be an underlying uh cause or there you might have faced some situations where you were made to feel less than and that has stuck in my mind and the and that keeps coming up uh that's why you know i'm facing low self worth just hearing that recognizing itself was so freeing and that is why i want to give five stars here because there were so many uh challenges that i face on a day to day basis or on like in bigger situations in life when it comes to decision making and stuff like uh this this aspect was the underlying cause and i didn't even realize it when i put it here i know my uh the reason why i added self worth here was something else but having that conversation with the person in my life it it just helped me understand the value of this so much that's why i wanted to give uh like five stars and what i want to focus on in this journey like it doesn't end here right this is just the realization state but i do believe when you have realized it like half the work is done there like it's such a big uh progress to even get there so i wanted to give five stars but in order to continue on something that i want to focus on uh when it comes to self worth is forgiveness and what i mean by that is forgiveness yeah what i mean by that is um i've had a few situations in my life where i was made to feel less than where i was made to feel that i'm not worth something and that might be uh when i was around like 6 or 7 years old i changed schools and it was completely a different environment and i joined in between so i faced a lot of issues to fit in and i i just felt like i couldn't be my like my true self whereas in the previous school i was very comfortable i really liked the people who i was studying with like my classmates i still remember their names um whereas in the new school i had to felt like i i felt like i had to change a lot of myself to even be accepted forget about like having nice friendships to even acknowledge or to even be allowed into the groups um i had to change myself a lot so you know these things have a huge impact on your life and you need to work on it to sort of address the negative impact it has had so that was one thing um and then another thing might be certain comments in a few situations from a few of my relatives uh whether it was related to uh you know the way i look or a uh, financial situation or any of these other things they're like oh why do you even need this you know comments like that i feel it has a huge impact especially when you're young and th- one of the ways i think there are different ways to move past it like do what works for you but for me i feel um or this this is what you know that person suggested me as well uh, who i was talking about like just forgiving these people who have uh who sort of made me feel like i'm not worth it uh or made me feel like 
yeah basically made me feel that i'm not worth it just for giving them i think uh that like going down that path will really help me in this and um i can let me know if you want to talk if you want me to talk more about forgiveness i can do that in future videos but yeah i want to for self-worth something that i want to focus on is forgiveness then next one is embrace and what did i want to embrace this year it was opportunities one of the main reasons that i set this intention was that in in the past few years especially i feel in 2022 i was presented with so many opportunities that probably at the time i didn't realize like i realized it later on um i kind of ignored or i didn't take it too seriously or i made a choice like not to pursue them uh for whatever i think some of the reasons was very surface level reasons like it wasn't well thought out at all and i really wanted to change that in 2023 so any opportunities that came in front of me i wanted to like embrace them like just be grateful for all these opportunities that i'm getting however big or small it is that doesn't matter and if i make a choice of not to pursue a certain opportunity uh just being really mindful about that and for that too um i think i want to give myself five stars because um you know like i said whether an opportunity was big like for example working on a project i i just took it on even though it was intimidating like i didn't get like uh, take a decision based on fear i didn't shy away from it i'm like okay let's just trust myself and that's one of the ways that i used word of the year which was trust so I was like let's just trust myself i know that i can figure like how i can work on this project and, and just move on from there so that's the reason i want to give myself five stars and i'm being really conscious about it and even things like meditating or doing yoga in the morning i just remind myself like you know i have this time and i have these free yoga videos on youtube like how lucky are we to be uh alive during this time where such valuable resources are just available at the tip of our fingers uh, just thinking in that way has really helped me to embrace all the opportunities i have and the thing that has helped me the most is to just be grateful for them uh, that has been really working out like that approach and that attitude so i sort of want to continue with that because you know there's nothing wrong with gratitude i feel the more you have it the better your life gets so that is about embracing opportunities then the fourth one is choosing and that was choose abundance for choosing abundance i want to give myself three stars I feel abundance and self-worth sort of go hand in hand. Um, there have been like some things that I have been doing in order to cultivate an abundant mindset to sort of look at life as ha half glass full, yeah, half glass full rather than half glass empty. I think I am doing that, but um, it's still like it needs a lot of effort from me to do that it needs a lot of pep talk it needs a lot of journaling session to just sort of get from a scarcity mindset to an abundant mindset and my intention is to yes one like consciously choose it but i also want to be in a place where it's more subconscious for me i like wherein i'm not putting in a lot of effort uh, in order to approach life from this mindset and the way in which i can do that is uh, like i said i feel these two are related to each other the more you believe in yourself i wouldn't say even believe i feel the more you respect yourself uh, the more love 
you have for yourself it's gonna it's gonna help a lot so i'm gonna write that here and i'll also um share like self-respect and self-love let's let's take this like a loved one in your life has achieved something big right a huge milestone you just feel so happy for them and you feel like they deserve it and yeah you're over the moon for them like whether it's a friend a family member sibling your nieces or nephews or whoever it is you just feel so proud of them and just feel like they're all worth it and they deserve that um that good thing that has happened to them whereas when we look at ourselves i'm not i don't think everyone struggles with it i feel people who have who struggle with imposter syndrome or who feel less confident can relate to this a lot when something good is happening to ourselves or when you have to choose a path where something good might happen to you i think you you doubt yourself or you sell yourself short you feel like oh no you know you can adjust with something a little less you don't really deserve it you know things like that and the way i looked at it in the past was that um i have a lot of humility and you know i'm not uh like arrogant and you know i know my place yeah basically like that i used to feel you know okay selling yourself short or uh just staying within your means is is sort of related to you having a lot of humility and i just by like being more mindful about these things what i feel is it's not that i feel it is somewhere lack of self respect and self love that you don't deserve abundance or you don't deserve good things in life that is why because you would never ever think like that uh, uh, for your friends or for your siblings or for your like your loved ones basically you would never think that like you'd never feel like oh they they don't deserve that much like why did they achieve that or uh, why is so many good things happening in their life like you never think about your loved ones like that right and that is because you have you have pure love and you have respect for them and i think that is something that i might want to focus on when it comes to choosing abundance let's see how it goes i will of course like do these kind of check-ins every now and then uh to see where we are progressing but that's where i am at right now okay then fifth uh intention was to explore creativity let's write here for exploring creativity i'm not really sure about the exact reason why i set this intention but um based on what's going on in my mind right now i can say that uh, again for this too, i want to give myself three stars because i don't think i'm doing that quite a bit like in my mind i have a lot of ideas that i want to work on i want to do so many things for example like this bullet journal it took me so long to decide uh to transition from a planner to a bullet journal to even give it a try i just thought about it like so so much um and then i've gotten a calligraphy book uh, but i haven't like tried any hand lettering in there i've got myself a coloring book but i i, I just did like coloring once there are all these creativity projects or ideas that i want to work on even for stickers like there are so many just on in my mind like that haven't been implemented yet that i want to work on um yeah like i don't think i'm exploring that a lot i feel there is a lot of fear involved in it especially with stickers i feel like like what if you guys don't like it or what if this doesn't turn out to be good there's a lot of uh i feel fear based thoughts there and one of the ways that i think i can move from like 3 stars to 5 stars is to just take action i think with um uh, creativity that i like to ways one is like what goes on in your mind and in your heart and then another thing is like physically manifesting that like actually working on it so going forward what i want to do is if i get any idea i just want to work on it like 
let's not worry about how like what the results of this is let's just do it and and explore i think that's the way you can explore creativity through its like truest sense yes there's a lot of journeys like in your mind that you can take but uh physically working on them and seeing how they're manifesting i think that is for me at least that's how i'm thinking right now uh, that's the way to explore so i really want to focus on taking action and sixth intention was to feel connected for feeling connected i again i don't remember the exact reason why i said this intention probably i think it's a good idea to go back and look at the intention set up video so that uh, you know i would have spoken to you guys about it uh, so i'll refresh my memory a bit but um right now the way i'm thinking about feeling connected is connected to people around connected to the community around me uh connected to my goals and my purpose and my vision like spirituality all of those different ways and here i want to give myself two stars and that is because i'm i'm just in my head so much like i make myself so conscious about like the tiniest of things that really robs me from feeling connected like like i said you know with joy being present in the moment like if if there is stuff going on in your mind no matter how happy or how how much joy there is around you you can never really experience it right so uh i think that is something that i want to work on and i do struggle with this a lot one of the ways that i can do is to just get out of my own way i didn't know how else to put like to phrase this i really really have to get out of my own way because whether it is regarding joy or feeling connected or even creativity or even with abundance uh you know like i think these two it's going quite well but the other four i feel i myself am the hurdle here like i really have to move out and give myself the opportunity and the way to just move ahead in all of these intentions i wanted this particular spread to be really simple precise and to the point so we had a lot of empty space underneath here i went ahead and added a few decorative like floral and butterfly stickers over the strip of washi tape to just pack everything up nice and pretty and i think spreads like this one is my happy place i really love creating them i love looking at them uh so you know whenever i feel the need to refer to these spreads it's just really nice to look at it's re really easy on my eyes so i really loved doing that and in my next video i will be um checking in with my word of the year so stay tuned for it and in case you have missed the goals reflection video do check it out so yeah guys i guess that is it for today's video hope it helped you hope you enjoyed coming along please give it a thumbs up as well as say hello in the comments i'd love to hear from you so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye